you can either do one thing with the platform. You either become a rock star or you give your life away. You know, you got this platform while well, you have this amazing opportunity to change, maybe change the world. Yeah. And somebody can even do that if you live in a small town. You have everybody's got a platform. Yeah. What are you gonna do with it? Yeah. You know? Michael, what what just just reminisce a little bit back. Um, you've played for popes and presidents and kings, and we were talking off camera, you were you know, doing an event in Bahrain. And, you know, this has been, you've been doing this a while, okay? And what obstacles did you overcome? What was a really rough time for you that you overcame? Give, give us a little bit of the yeah. inside scoop of, of uh, your life. Yeah, well, the success is just, it's just favor. I call it the favor of God. That's what it is, you know, and... Uh, why this little kid from West Virginia got to do what I get to do, I, I don't know, you know. Um, it's a calling. And I remember back in the day when I was, you know, I'd start touring with Amy Grant. Not a, way, not a bad way to start a career. And <laughs> writing songs what for What year would that have been? 80, 1982. 82. Okay. So we are 39 years later. My so, goodness. And... And then writing songs for Age to Age and Straight Ahead. And then all of a sudden, I'm cutting my first record and opening up for her. And the crowds were big. And, you know, and so we, and I remember Debbie and I talking about, you know, when it really started to kind of get the momentum was pretty, I mean, the wind was blowing really hard at our backs. And, and if you'd look at the entertainment industry and you'd look at sort of Hollywood and all that, that comes with being a quote unquote celebrity and the dangers of all of that. And I remember her and I had a conversation going, you know what, if you just look at it as a whole, there is a better chance than not that we could be a casualty. Mm. But we're gonna say right now, we're not gonna be a casualty and we'll, mm. we'll, we'll make every means possible that that will never happen. So mm. we just started laying ground rules and I would never be away from my family more than two weeks ever. I was never away from my kids more than two weeks. Even if I had to cross the pond and go to Europe and come back, I was never gone more than two weeks. Had the plane, came back, walk off stage, land at midnight, drive a carpool at 7.15 in the morning. I did that for 13 years in a row. And I don't regret any of it. Mm -hmm. uh, I married a great woman. Yes, which I'm celebrating um, uh, actually 40 years of marriage in three days from now. Yeah. My goodness. And, um, which is... <laughs> Congratulations. Crazy to even say that. And then uh, our prayer group and our friends, yeah. our our tribe, whatever you want to call yeah. it, that I've just walked life with, you know. And so I've invited those people, you know, if, you know, if I, you can either do one thing with the platform, you either become a rock star or you give your life away. You know, mm -hmm. you got this platform while well, you have this amazing opportunity to change, maybe change the world. Yeah. And somebody can even do that if you live in a small town. You have, everybody's got a platform. Yeah. What are you going to do with it? Yeah. You know? So I've had the great opportunity to be able to do some great things. Believe me, I've had my moments of how many records did we sell and the pride factor and, you know, um, you know, taking Fento out on the road with me and, you know, just keeping me accountable and all that sort of thing, you know. Um, and then inviting my prayer group, my team. Like if I would get the big head, if, it, if I thought that I started believing my press, They'd smack me around a little bit, you know. <laughs> they just go, dude, snap out of it. This is, this is not about. This is not about you. Mm -hmm. You know, that's Fento. I, I, I might have t told that under your story <laughs> that he I got busted at a at a big Halloween night. It was six thousand people in Seattle, and these girls had gotten backstage and were hollering out my name and we love you, Michael. And I remember just kind of had the old wave and just <laughs> you know I just was overcome. Oh, this feels great. And there's Fento tapping me on the shoulder. <laughs> And I look around this Don, and he's going, it's not about you. Get over it. Like, 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 it was, it was, you know, it's, I was busted. And he was right. He was right. And so yeah. just, and I think as you mature in the faith, you really do, you really do realize it's not about you. And you, you want to find those opportunities to go and, how can I change my block? How, how what today, I don't, I'm not guaranteed tomorrow. I can't change yesterday. Mm -hmm. I have today. What am I going to do today? How am I going to reflect the heart of God to people that I know and people that I don't know? 
I want to do that every day. And, and, and then surviving success. I think probably that might be my greatest, if I could say I've, I mean, s- still married to this amazing woman, um, love my kids, love my grandkids, but I've survived success. Friend, because of your partnership, the impact that TBN is making around the world for Jesus is miraculous. So to say thank you for your gift of support in any amount, we'll send you Saturdays with Billy, written by Dr. Don Wilton. Please go to tbn.org slash Saturdays with Billy. And thank you for being a part of this global television ministry.